So in this video, we are going to see how we can implement instance authorization in a BAP RESTful application programming model. In our last video, we have seen how to implement global authorization. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, I would highly recommend to go through that video before starting this one. So the global authorization we have already seen in our last video, which works at a global level. Uh, for example, we have seen the edit option. Now the instance authorization is uh, works for all the authorization checks, just like for the global one, based on the user role. And uh, with instance authorization, you can define authorization on the field or the operations. And uh, those operation could be update or delete. Instance authorization cannot be added onto the create operation. This is one of the most important difference in the global authorization and the instance authorization. And uh, instance authorization is only possible for instance based operations. So for example, we have this application created and we have an instance operation here, which is set admitted. So as soon as user select any of these record and uh, click on this set admitted button, this field gets updated. So for example, if uh, we have no admitted here, so I click on this and this button gets enabled. And when I click on set admitted, this action get triggers and it update the status of the student to yes. Now let's uh, go back and uh, edit and let's set it to not admitted and save. Go back. So now it is again got status no. So what we are going to do here is we uh, we will be placing an authorization check onto this button set admitted button so that not all of the users are authorized to change the admission status for any student so let's get started on this very first thing which we need to do to get this instance authorization implemented is uh, open the behavior definition file and uh, very first thing which we need to add here is with the global we need to add another parameter which is instance and uh, the second thing which we need to add here is In this instance method since this is an instance method here so we will be adding the instance authorization on this set admitted method which we have just seen so for that we need to add authorization and on what operation you want to put the authorization we want to put on update operation because when user clicks on the set admitted button it updates the record so we do not want that operation to be completed by any user who do not have proper role assigned so these are the two things which we need to do in the behavior definition and uh, let's click on activate our behavior definition is now active and if you see on the behavior define behavior line you will see an icon click on that and uh, we will add a method for the implementation so here now we got a new method created get instance authorizations whatever code we are going to write will be inside this method and this method will be triggered when user clicks on the set 
admitted button instance button one thing we i want to mention here is since i do not have any authorization object created we have one method created in our last video which returns a value whether the authorization is success or not so in this video we will again use the same method is update allowed or not we will pass true if the update is allowed and we will pass false if the update is not allowed so this is the same method we are going to use in this video as well now to start coding onto this method very first thing which we need to do is we need to read the entity whichever record user is selecting we need to read that entity here so for reading that entity we have already seen this thing so many times so let me copy that from uh, one of the method set admitted okay so we will be reading this record here we are reading this record and we are we are getting the status field here now let's check if if this is not initial we got something here then we will be checking if the update is requested here or not means user has clicked on the set admitted button or not basically because set admitted button will trigger the update so for that let's create a new variable here data and then update requested is equal to above bull time now we will we will fill this parameter with condition and uh, we will be checking if the requested authorization is update or edit operation so we will write a when when requested authorization authorization is update update behavior is on or we will be checking in place of update we will be checking action is edit or not okay then we will be returning about true else about false and dot okay this is not there okay so update requested will contain if if system recognizes that it's an update operation or edit operation then it will return true else it will return false so this will we will use this parameter later 
to check whether it is an update operation or not so now we have got the details here let's put a loop on this so loop at this assigning field symbol and lfs underscore student admitted and end loop now what we are going to do here is we will be checking the status if it is true or not so for each record there will be a status whether student is got admission or not we only want to run this code if the user has not got admitted so if user status is equal to above false If this status is above false and update requested is true and if update requested is equal to true then only we will be checking if the update is allowed or not means we will be checking the authorization here so we will be calling this and uh, for that we will be creating another variable update granted type baffle so we will be getting the authorization check result into this parameter and we will be calling a method which is is update allowed now if we will be checking if the authorization check is pass or not so for that let's again put if this is equal to above false if this is false that means authorization check is failed so in that case let's collect our message so append value TKY is equal to percent TKY and add it to failed student. Okay, and now we will return this value as well. We will be returning like this value and then percent tky again is equal to keys one hyphen percent tky okay and uh, what message we want here Now what message we want, so for message, we will use msg is equal to new message with text and text will have severity is equal to above behavior message and 
severity is error and then we need to pass the text as well so text would be no authorization to update status and uh, that's it now let's append it to a reported parameter student done so we have we have got a method get instance authorization then we have read the record then uh, we have checked if the if the operation which user is performing is update or edit if this is update or edit then we looped it we checked if the status is false means user has not got the admission then we check update requested is equal to true it means user is trying to update something then we are checking the authorization here and then if the authorization fails we are showing the error message to the user okay so now let's activate all here okay so our object is now activated and uh, let's run this so very first thing is is update allowed is false means authorization check is false since i do not have any authorization object that's why i'm directly passing about true or false here this is not suggested in the production environment this is just for a demo purpose so very first thing we are passing above false means there is no authorization for user to update the status now let's open the behavior service binding and uh, run the application click on go so we have these two yes and this single record is no here if i click on this this is not active now if i click on this this instance method is got activated here since we are passing above false means no authorization so we should see an error pop up here if i try to click on this method see no authorization to update the status it means our instance authorization is working properly now let's go back and uh, go to our class and here now return true and activate now it means user has authorization to update the record let's refresh click on go select and since user has now authorization it should allow to update the record see now the record got updated so this is how we can implement the instance authorization in a wordpress full application programming model if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you